الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه أجمعين My respected brothers and sisters in Islam Our topic today is a topic that affects every single individual and our society in our homes and men and women, children and elderly and even in the mosques of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This issue today my brother is the issue of music and musical instruments now before I get into the concept of what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam is saying to us from the Quran and Sunnah regarding musical instruments, I'm going to talk to you from a Western perspective. I'm going to speak to you from the medical perspective. What does the medical side of the world is saying to us regarding musical instruments and listening to music? Number one, my brother, when they've done a study in different places around the world, and statistics to understand what is the effect of music on people and on the musicians themselves. They found out that the highest rate of depression and suicide lives amongst the artists. Now we're not speaking about anything to do with Islam, my brothers. We're speaking about what does the medical side say? They found out that the highest rate of depression, alcohol abuse, Drugs abuse are amongst the artists and the musicians around the world. Now you would think for yourself that subhanallah, if a person, if music and musicians are brilliant people and it's good and it's halal, they will be the best example. They will be the best example for you and I to follow. But what do we find as a result? They are killing themselves. They are committing haram by drugs and alcohol, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. So how does this come to us as something which is positive? Now you look at something else, my brother, and I want you to think of this very carefully. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his throne on the water. And shaitan copied Allah and took his throne on the water. You have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you the masajid as a place of worship. And you have the shaitan gave you and gave us the clubs and the pubs as places of gathering the same concept to be there for hours. Allah gave us the Quran so we can read and ponder and worship Allah through his words. And the shaitan gave us music and songs so people would listen to it 24-7. Isn't that the facts that we see today? SubhanAllah Azza wa Jal. This is a fact that you see every single day. Now I want you to imagine this my brother. We are sitting in the mosque. Imagine if the imam or the khatib comes along and he brings out a guitar and start playing music. You're going to be, this guy lost his mind, yakhi. What is he doing? This is not a place to play guitar. But every single mobile phone in your pocket, my brother, has another song. How is that different for bringing music into the house of Allah and me holding up a guitar and playing along? Isn't that the same thing? It's music inside the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how badly music is affecting our lives. Now look at another thing, my brother, the AA meetings and the NA meetings, the maximum numbers of them are artists and musicians. Ajib. How is that a positive thing? These people should be amongst the best of people, right? But wallahi, through medicine and through research and millions of pounds paid to understand what's going on, they are telling you for some reason it's the highest rate of depression and suicide. So subhanallah azza wa jal. Also my brother, something else to ponder upon. When it comes to the place in your brain that appreciates music, that same place appreciates movement, short speech and short time memory. The same place in your brain that appreciates music, appreciates movement, speech and short memory. Now I want you to imagine how many times have you heard that people used to drive with their cars and boosting up their music and then they smash into a wall and all of a sudden people go there and try to say to them say la ilaha illallah and what do you hear in return singing and music why now medicine is telling you now it's telling you that short-term memory short-term memory and speech are related to the last incidents that happened to you in your life before you pass away so my brother, let me ask you this question. When you die listening to music, when you die listening to songs, 
what would be your last words? Would it be La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah? Or will it be otherwise? And you have medicine and medicine now is popular to back up a lot of research in relation to this matter. Now, if this is the case of musical instruments and music, what does Islam say about it? What does the Quran and the Sunnah of the Rasulullah say about this topic? So the Quran and Sunnah, my brothers, is telling you 100% that music is 100% haram. So who would understand the context of the Quran better than the companions and the companion of the companions? Nobody. Nobody would understand the language, the context, and what is the meaning behind these verses better than the Rasul the companions and the ones that they followed. And what did they say that they disagree amongst themselves if music is allowed or not? The answer to that, my brother, is no. There is no disagreement amongst the companions and the tabi'een and adba'a tabi'een that the music is halal. There is no disagreement. And how do we understand this, my brothers? How do we take this into consideration? I'll give you an analogy. If I say then I say this all the time, all the time, wallahi, to elaborate on a point. If I say the word cheese, a lot of people here would understand cheese means food and dairy. Others might understand he means to smile for a photo and a camera. And others might understand that now there is a new hip thing, it's money. So the same word would mean different things depending on the context. Now who is the best person to explain to you what I mean? Me. I'm the first one to explain to you what I meant by cheese. And then now all of you understand what I meant by cheese. And then when you go to your families and your friends, and you say, what did Abu Jibreel mean when he said the word cheese? You would say he meant this. Because you are the first point of contact. And you would know how to relay the message. Similarly, the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam said the words of the Quran and the hadith of the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. What is the best understanding the Sahaba? What is the best understanding afterwards are the Tabi'een and so on. And in relation to this topic, my brothers, in relation to the music, there is no disagreement amongst them that this is haram. Now, what's the solution? What's the solution to the concept of music? Like any other addiction, my brother, the Quran. The Quran and the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the release of anything that is toxic and haram in your soul and in your body. You should listen more to the Quran, understand more about what you're reading. MashaAllah, Tabarak rahman we have millions of reciters on the internet. Millions of ways to recite the, the Quran. And you have 10 Qur'at that you can listen to with different people and you can enjoy and understand the Quran differently. So my brother, you owe it upon yourself and upon your family that if music is something within you and within your homes to replace that with the Quran and do not take it lightly my brother because I'm telling you away from the Islamic concepts the medical side the psychological side is telling you that the people that are producing music to every single one of you are depressed are drug addicts are alcoholics and they are committing suicide these are the ones you enjoy their music. So what do you think the effect of their music is going to be upon you, my brother, and upon your family? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all evil. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to change our hearts and to make the Quran itself the light of our hearts. Allahumma ya rabbil alameen ikhfir al-muslimin wal muslimat. Allahumma ahmina min sharr al-shaytan wa adba'ihi. Allahumma ya rabbaj'al al-Quran nur qulubina. واغفر لموتانا يا رب العالمين